My name's Dina. I was about six when I realised I wanted to paint and draw. It seemed like a very nice way to spend every day. So I ended up being expelled from school, from art school and university. So I didn't get um, a conventional education. But I did have a very interesting childhood in life. 1969 to 79, I had a very turbulent life. I got married, um, had a baby, got separated, ran away from my husband, um, lived in London, I was a drug addict and an alcoholic, and I survived all that. I painted many landscapes, people, things from imagination, a wide variety of subjects, um, and more or less whatever I want to do. I, I think maybe in some ways I've been lucky not to go to art school because I might have been too influenced by the teaching and ideas that they naturally want to teach. And I also paint in all sorts of different styles, from, um, very quite detailed things to more impressionistic styles and many people would say that they don't always think the same person has done the paintings and I'm particularly sensitive to pink um, colors colors are very very difficult to combine and it's not a good idea to use too many in one painting but that's sometimes what I end up doing and perhaps the most interesting pictures I've painted of a series of war images which I began in 2001 when the um, Twin Towers came down in America and I painted a picture from a photograph some firefighters um, rescuing one of their colleagues in a blanket and it's a bit like a deposition from religious art and then when Iraq was invaded in 2003 I collected pictures from newspapers and painted those but more significantly I trawled the internet for images that weren't published in newspapers, like um, rather harrowing images of children um, suffering <clears throat> from being uh, in war zones, and dead babies, and surgeons trying to save their lives, and even babies shot in the womb before they were delivered. And that was quite a challenging subject to paint, and after a few years I knew I couldn't do that anymore. but I ended up, a couple of years later, drawing pictures of anatomical studies based on Vesalius's etchings from the 1600s and combining them with the photographs of Karl Blosfeld, who photographed plants and enlarged them and sort of intertwining them on, on, on large sheets of paper in Indian ink with a dip pen so the lines vary sometimes you get blotches and you have to deal with mistakes and scratch them out or paint over them and improvise to cover them up and when I sometimes am painting I used to find that I allowed myself to be influenced by other artists anyone from Picasso to Van Gogh to Goya to Bosch and find almost as though they were talking to me. I could almost hear their voices in the background because I liked their work so much and I wanted not to copy them but to allow myself to be influenced by it and incorporate something of their style into mine. It creates many different states of mind. Sometimes it's it's a complete escape from everything else because while you're doing it you can't think about anything else so you're brain has a complete rest from whatever else is going on in your life. My purpose in doing this is to bring art from the past to the present and the future.